Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about 9 important functions used in matplotlib library of python programming course. These are the 9 functions that we are used in matplotlib library. Each and every function has its own purpose. How these functions are useful for drawing the plot in matplotlib library that can be explained with one example. This is the Google Colab editor. Without installing the matplotlib library, to draw the plots, simply we have to use import statement. First, we have to import matplotlib library. By executing this statement, we are importing the matplotlib library. In that library, we have to use pyplot module to draw the chart. To import pyplot module in matplotlib library, we have to use this statement. By executing this statement, we are importing the pyplot module in matplotlib library. Next, we are providing the alternative name for matplotlib.pyplot by using this statement. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. In this statement, plt is the alternative name for matplotlib.pyplot. Hence, we can say that plt is the alias name for matplotlib.pyplot. Whenever matplotlib.pyplot is required, simply we have to use plt because plt is the alternative name for matplotlib.pyplot. Next one. I am taking some values on the x-axis as a list 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Next, I am taking some values on the y-axis 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Here we have to draw the line plot between the data points 1 comma 20, 3 comma 25, 5 comma 30, 7 comma 35, 9 comma 40. Next we have to draw the line plot by using plot function between the x-axis and y-axis with marker is equal to within the double quotes I am giving small o. So plot function is used for draw the line plot between the data points on the x-axis and points on the y-axis. Next, to show the plot, we have to use show function. By using that function, we have to show the plot. So, see this one. So, this point, this point is nothing but 1 comma 20 point. X value 1, Y value 20. Next one, this point is x value 3, y value 25, 3 comma 25 point. Next, this point is 
5 comma 30 x value 5 y value 30 next this point is 7 comma 35 x value 7 y value 35 and this point is 9 comma 40 x value 9 and y value 40 okay and this is called as marker marker is used for emphasizing the data point with a small circle next we have to provide the label for the x axis by using x label function plt plt dot x label is within the double quotes we are giving the label of x axis i am giving the label for x axis is x axis next we are providing the label for y axis plt dot y label within the double quotes i am giving the label name for y axis label for the y axis x label function is used for providing the name for x axis y label function is used for providing the name for y axis show function is used for displaying the plot plot function is used for display the plot between x and y axis now we have to execute this code by click on this video button see this one the label for x axis is x axis the label for y axis is y axis next we have to provide the title for this entire plot by using title function plt dot title within the double quotes we are giving the title function demonstration of important functions in matplotlib library this is the title of the entire plot by executing this button so this is the title for this plot okay next we are providing the ticks here this is called as tick 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 how many number of ticks are there in the x axis that is 1 to 9 9 ticks are there how many ticks are there on the y axis 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay we have to change this uh, ticks by using x ticks function on the x axis we have to change the change this values on the y axis by using y ticks function okay to change the values on the x axis and y axis we have to use x ticks function and y ticks function okay now i am giving plt dot x ticks plt dot x ticks what are the values we are giving on the x axis the values are 0 2 0 2 4 6 8 10 okay now the values on the x axis 1 to 9 
can be replaced with 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 by executing this code. See this one? The values on the x axis are replaced with 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, we have to change the values on the y axis by using ytix function plt dot ytix I am giving the values 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay. By executing this code, these values on the y axis are replaced with 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. See this one here 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We are getting. Okay. Next one. Next, we have to change the color of this line by using color is equal to within the double quotes, I am giving red. By executing this code, the line is changed with red color. Next, we have to provide the x limit function and y limit function. So, what is the range of values on the x axis? What is the range of values on the y axis? So, the range of values on the x axis can be given by using x limit function plt dot x lim. Here I am giving so 0 comma 10. Okay. On the x axis I am giving 0 comma 10. So the range is 0 comma 10 values on the x axis. Next one plt dot y lim. On the y axis I am giving the range 10 to 60, 10 to 60. Okay. Now, by executing this code, the limits on the x axis are is 0 to 10 values. The limits on the y axis is 10 to 60. Suppose I am giving this value is 0, 60. So, see this one. So, then we are getting 0. Okay. So, on the x axis, the range of values between 0 and 10 on the y axis the range of values between 0 and 60 okay next we have to change the size of the marker by using the parameter ms ms is equal to i am giving 15 so, see this one, the marker size, marker is nothing but this one, the marker size is changed with 15. Next one, marker face color, marker face color means this one, so that is represented with MFC, MFC is equal to within the double quotes, I am giving block are green. I am giving green. So, every marker can be displayed with the green color. See this one, green color. Okay. Next one, marker edge color. Each marker edge color can be displayed with MEC is equal to I am giving block. block. So, see this one. 
marker edge color is black marker face color is green and line color is red okay so here ms is nothing but marker size mfc is nothing but marker face color mhc is nothing but marker edge color marker is nothing but this circle okay marker face color is equal to green is nothing but this one marker edge color is block is nothing but the circle edge color is block marker size is nothing but size of the circle okay these are the three parameters used in plot function regarding the marker marker size marker face color marker edge color so these are the nine functions that we are used in matplotlib library for plotting the line chart so plot function x label function y label function title function x tick function y tick function x limb function y limb function and show function okay this is the practical example of important functions in matplotlib library thank you thank you for watching this video if you really like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you really like this video please click on the like button and click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel after subscribing my youtube channel divela srinivas rao if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section i will clarify your doubts thank you thank you one and all for watching this video